These public executions, there have been half a dozen so far, show the Nigerian army at its toughest. In fact, the Igbos are living under a military occupation. But though the soldiers are very much in evidence throughout the East Central State, their behaviour has on the whole been good. After a few violent incidents at the end of the war, discipline has been tightened. The army's been of practical use in building bridges, though it could do more to help in the work of reconstruction. Perhaps the military's biggest contribution has been to put money into an economy starved of cash, since all Biafran currency is now useless. It's reckoned that the soldiers spend half of the £19 a month they get locally. That's very welcome, but this is still a victorious Nigerian army in which no Igbo officer who fought for Biafra will be welcome for a long time. That's true of some civil servants as well. Decree 46 makes it very likely that about a hundred of them, men like Cyprian Equenzi, will not get their jobs back. Mr Equenzi, I suppose you're a classic example of how are the mighty fallen. You were director of information for the federal government and for Biafra, and now here you are selling plastic bottles around the country. What's it been like for you? Well, I don't regard myself as an example of the mighty fallen, if, if that's uh, the classification. Uh, the real thing is that... Um, at the end of the war, everybody started from scratch, and nothing was too menial for anyone to do in order to raise uh, 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 the difficult, the most difficult commodity to find at the moment, which is money. And um, it takes a certain amount of courage to be able to do what people do not expect you to do. And I, I think I've proved the point. I've proved, I have proved that I, I can do anything. And many people regard me as an example of the Igbo man who can do anything in any circumstance uh, to fight against any desperate odds. For the moment, no matter how hard they try to raise themselves from the ruins of defeat, all Igbos are beggars dependent on federal government money to get things moving again. Is it getting through? The National Rehabilitation Commission is a bit slow and uh, top-heavy. We are not adequately, we are not at all 